Good evening, this is Steve Fletcher with The Trumpet for My People. Today is June 1st, 2018, and I want to talk to you about the, the last portion of iPetGo 2, and I want to bring forth what I'm seeing is that at the very end of the video, it's ending at the summer solstice. The question is, does the video end at the summer solstice? And is that what everything is pointing to, the rise of the Antichrist at this summer solstice? Now I'm going to show um, from, the, from about the five minute mark in the video, and we're going to see the Antichrist or the phoenix rising out of a nuclear blast. We're going to see the lotus flower in the Nile River. The lotus flower in the Nile River. The river is the Nile because it's leading up to the pyramids. In the background, we'll see the pyramids of Egypt. And the pyramids all point to the summer solstice. Okay, and there's a lot of things that I'm going to just, I'm not going to do the video with sound. I'm going to show the video without sound and I'll, I'll talk through what I'm seeing while the video goes. But I want to bring forth a couple pieces of information before we watch the last portion of that video together. Here is a, the lotus flower and this is a symbol of the sun of creation and rebirth. Because at night the flower closes and sinks underwater. At dawn it rises and opens again. According to one creation myth, it was a giant lotus which first rose out of the watery chaos at the beginning of time. From this giant lotus, the sun itself rose on the first day. A symbol of Upper Egypt. So we see the lotus flower. We saw that in another portion of the video where the apple rolled out and the apple was cut in half and the lotus flower came out. But at the end of the video, the lotus flower appears again on the water in the Nile River that leads towards the, the, uh, the pyramids of Egypt. And then the sun is the final portion of the video. And so, is everything pointing to the summer solstice? See, the, the, uh, the myth of the phoenix, the phoenix rising out of chaos, out of the destruction, out of the flames. So the phoenix rising out of the flames, out of the nuclear blast that comes in the iPad Goat uh, 2, shows a nuclear blast and the Antichrist rising out of that nuclear blast. The connection between Egypt and the pyramids and the solstice. Everything connected to the pyramids is not only the, the, uh, their shape, but their, their positioning, their alignment with the solstice how everything is lined up. And then we have the time that Barack Obama went to Stonehenge, which points to the summer solstice. Stonehenge is the sun worship. It's a place for sun worship. Whether at the winter or the summer solstice. And this is a picture of the summer solstice at Stonehenge. And you see how Barack Obama posed for this picture at Stonehenge when he was there, just like the rising sun on the solstice. See how this is portrayed? And then we have Obama's connection to Egypt. 
to Akhenaten. And how everything is lined up at the summer solstice and the pyramids of Egypt. So let's go ahead and take a look at the video. And as I said, I'm gonna start it about the five minute mark. And from there, I'll walk you through it as I am seeing. Okay, I'm gonna start this uh, from the four minute and 57 second mark. And uh, I'll talk you through what I'm seeing here. So here we see the nuclear explosion. Out of the nuclear explosion is going to rise up the Antichrist. That's representing the phoenix rising out of the ashes. Okay, now this is, see the lilies? I mean the, uh, the lotuses? Okay, as he comes out of the cave, watch again. See, watch, see the river and the lotuses. There are the lotuses representing the lotus moon of June. And there is the sign of Horus, the all-seeing eye and the, the worship of the sun on the forehead of the false Christ. And then as he's heading towards the sun in the river, we're going to see the pyramids of Egypt. There are the pyramids of Egypt. Okay, so the pyramids of Egypt and the alignment of the, of the pyramids with the sun and the importance of the sun in the end this is the final shot of pet goat so it looks like everything is pointing to the summer solstice the month of june the lotus moon the, the flower lotus has to do with rebirth and we see this uh, river taking us to egypt So again, the last shot of I Pet Goat shows us the lotus flower again, shows us the phoenix rising out of the ashes, shows us the pyramids of Egypt at the summer solstice, and then we see how the Antichrist is connected to all of this. And the Obama connection to Egypt and the pyramids and the solstice, the worship of the sun god and the worship of Antichrist. That's what I wanted to share with you tonight. Let's go back to, to I Pet Goat and I'm just gonna let it play now until the end.
And as the Antichrist rises, the world crumbles. And that's the end. The sun, Egypt, the solstice. So that's all I wanted to share with you. Does I pet go to end at the summer solstice. For everyone is blessed tonight. This is Steve Fletcher with the trumpet for my people. The sign of his coming revealed. God bless you.